and he gave me a check for $1,500 and he challenged me to come and make a portable system fit in a black case and be able to go to an airport anywhere in the world to teach off the bottom. So now he's doing that one line course he showed you a few minutes ago. This is the lead course. So what we do is show people how they can take an aquarium of fish and we invented this air pump. The air comes down and it pumps here and it pumps up. It only runs with 23 watts of electricity. So the young lady down there with the solar panel she has, her smallest solar panel she has will run this system. So we're going, Natalie and I are going down to the Philippines on April 11th. It'll be our third trip. When I go down to the Philippines or American Samoa, I have to come up with a way to do it with solar. So we came up with this system with a little air pump that only uses 23 watts of power, which is equivalent to all for us at my home. And what we do is the air comes down, comes over, it burps up, comes into here, and fills up the here. When the water gets in this height, she's on overflow. When she goes down, that sets the little here. When she goes in overflow, it's going to come out here, and the water's going to be nice and clean for the fish. So this is dirty fish water. We use our most popular Big Island Center. The bacteria live in there to change the ammonia from the fish water over to nitrogen. So I'll be going down to American School and Dr. Betty Ron sent me down there from UA. And we built it at the community college, a system like this, larger scale. But we show them how to raise the tilapia fish, they get the protein from eating the fish, they're able to put the ammonia water into here and change it to nitrogen. Now watch this, see how the water's coming down here now? You see the bubbles that are coming through? This is a little invention the Australians came up with called an air cycle. If I drop that over there, now it will suck the air out. You see how fast the water comes out? It will suck the water over here down. When the water goes down, it sucks air into the stones. And all the water will get clean. When this water comes down to here, it hits the bottom, it's going to let the air in. The air comes up, it will break the cycle, it will stop, and it will start filling up again. So here you got a device with no moving parts that runs on a little tiny solar panel. So watch this when she gets right down to here. So if I burp for you, lets the air in, she stops. Now no water comes out. So I can take a 50 gallon container. Now when I go down to American Samoa, they're not going to have a 55 gallon aquarium. I'll use a plastic drum, you know, 55 gallon fuel drum or a plastic drum. I'll cut a hole and make an aquarium. But this will guard two foot wide, 25 foot long, 50 foot long. The 250 uh, square feet, so two foot wide, 25 foot long. And that's a lot of important things, cool things to mention here. And this is where we got together with our program at the university, the vice chancellor. Is that we want to use this system also to push the stem. The kids getting interested, what's going on, how does it work? We say, okay, now you need math, you need engineering, you need to understand the biology and how you grow food to your parents and they be sustainable. So all this, the kids get attracted to the fish, to the plants, and from there we take them into the stem. <laughs> and that's, a, that's the big game and also we help the science teachers because now the science teachers they know how to do the kids to get the interest. Yeah. Here a little stigma gets it. Around the world all over. In America, the mainland, it's the fifth most popular fish now. Ten years ago nobody knew what it was. Now it's the fifth most eaten fish. Ready for it? It sells for twelve dollars a pound in China now. They come up to my farm and they wholesale seven to eight dollars a pound. The bigger the fish, the more I get per pound. Isn't that something? The chicken of the sea. The chicken of the sea. <laughs> yeah. In the Philippines or American Samoa, there's no stigma against it. They just whack it. And my fish, I'm throwing like this big and this long. I throw it to six to eight pounds and I get eight dollars a pound. Oh yeah. I was like, yeah.